This is an example on how you can use iCloud to manage your photos, applications, notes, uh, email, and other items between your iPad, iPhone, and Macintosh computer, and keep them in sync just like the commercials show. Period. Alright, so I've made a note here on my iPad, and if I go back to the home button, um, I have iCloud turned on on my iPad here, so that note uh, should actually show up here in mail, and here it is. So within just a second, a note that I just made my iPad is also in sync on my Mac computer here, and if I had an iPhone, it would also show up in my notes on my iPhone too. But how do you turn that on? How do you manage that? It's actually very simple. Uh, on your iPad itself, you're going to want to go into settings. It's the little icon that has the little gears on it. And right under general uh, changes, you're going to see a little icon if you're running the current version of iOS 5. It says iCloud. And we're already signed into our iCloud account. If you don't have one, you can actually create one for free at iCloud.com, but we've signed into ours and uh, we've turned most of the things on here. You can actually decide what you want to sync with iCloud and what you don't want to sync with iCloud. So uh, here I'm syncing my mail, my contacts, calendars. We're really actually just syncing everything in here. So anytime that I add a contact to my device, it's going to sync with all my other devices that are using iCloud itself too. So again, I have everything syncing on here. Um, by the way, if you are someone who has a lot of or you know likes to take lots of photos, you can actually manage your storage and backup here. Uh, you can also buy more storage if you'd like to. If uh, the amount that uh, Apple gives you by default just isn't quite enough. And again, anything that I add on my iPad will sync. Now, in order for it to sync on my Mac. I have to go into system preferences here. And here's the system preferences window. I'm going to click on iCloud here. And you're going to see uh, actually a window that's very similar to what we just saw on our iPad. It's going to have uh, the ability to check what we want to sync between the Mac the iPad or the iPhone if you have an iPhone or as you can see again up between all the devices so here I have everything synced on here so whatever goes from one goes to the other device if something's not syncing you want to come into the set in the to the settings and make sure that it's checked uh, and that's iCloud it's actually really easy once you have it turned on it automatically does what it needs to uh, and again if you don't have an iCloud account already Go get one for free at iCloud.com and keep your uh, iPad, iPhone, and your Mac not only backed up, but also in sync.